Hi, how's it going everyone? My name is Hank and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'll be doing a review of one of the newest brokers in New Zealand for trading international shares. And today we're going to be looking at Tiger Brokers. Uh, we'll be going over their features, benefits, fees, uh, the signing up process, and pros and cons of the platform to see uh, whether or not this is a, a good platform to use for you. Tiger Brokers were initially founded in uh, 2014 in China uh, with the aim of helping investors to invest in Chinese stocks that are not easily accessible to foreign investors. So as you may or may not know, uh, foreign investors cannot directly invest in Chinese market. Since then, Tiger Brokers have expanded to many other countries and currently they allow investors to be able to trade in markets from five different countries. And this includes the US market, which has five different stock exchange, the, including the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ, where most of the uh, big companies are listed, uh, such as Apple, Amazon, uh, Google, amongst many others. Uh, the American Exchange, the Pink Sheet Exchange, and the Over the Counter Exchange. Over the Counter Exchange is a highly speculative market where you can find many penny stocks and other very risky investments. So it's definitely not recommended for beginners. Other markets that they have include the Hong Kong Exchange, the uh, two big Chinese exchange, including the Shanghai and Shenzhen Exchange, the Singapore and also the Australian Exchange. So yes, you will be able to easily invest in the ASX uh, from New Zealand. This means that Tiger Brokers have one of the largest selections of companies and stocks currently available for investors in New Zealand, uh, much more than the uh, other brokers that are currently available on the market, uh, which mostly uh, cater to just one market. Currently, you can sign up to uh, Tiger Brokers in many countries in Asia, including China, uh, Malaysia, uh, Singapore, Japan, and many others. And you can also sign up to uh, Tiger Brokers in Europe, uh, including countries such as Belgium, France, Germany, UK, and many others. And of course, uh, in New Zealand as well. Let's go over and take a look at their uh, mobile apps. Uh, so they have two main types of accounts. Uh, first one is the Prime account, uh, which is also a cash account, uh, which you make uh, deposits into the account and you buy shares of companies from there. Uh, you can also trade on margins, which means that uh, you can borrow money from the broker and carry out trades for a fee. Uh, but this is highly risky and should not be done by beginner investors. You can also trade company options with your Prime account. And again, option trades are risky and you should do lots of research before doing it. And again, it is not really meant for beginner investors. The second type of account that you can use is a paper account. And this is an account where you get 100,000 US dollars in virtual currency and one virtual Apple stock for you to test out the system. Now you can set up a paper account in your account section. And if you're new to Tiger Brokers or stock market investing in general, I would highly, highly recommend you set up a paper account, uh, if nothing else, just to learn how uh, the Tiger Broker app works. Now, one of the main downsides when it comes to trading on the Tiger Broker platform is that it does not offer the purchase of fractional shares. Uh, this means that you can only purchase whole shares of a company. And this is fine in most situations, apart from uh, if you want to purchase shares of companies such as Amazon or Google, where each share may cost you uh, more than a thousand US dollars, and you may not be able to afford that. They also offer pre and post market trading. Uh, you can enable that by allowing the fill outside of normal trading hours or disallow it by not allowing it. Uh, you can trade with limit orders, market order, stop loss order, and uh, stop loss limit price. So here you can adjust the uh, limit price that you want to buy and the quantity that you want to buy. And then when you everything is confirmed, you can place by order. Overall, the uh, mobile app is very simple and very easy to use. And it's definitely something that I would really uh, recommend. You can easily search for a particular company by looking up the uh, stock name. For example, if I want to look up Tesla, I can easily find Tesla. And if I wanted to buy shares for Tesla, I can just go to trade the bottom tab. If I want to buy long, I could just choose by long and then it'll show me uh, a listing of 
the price that I want to set and the quantity that I want to set. If I want to sell Tesla, I could also do that by clicking on trade and then I could sell Tesla from the same option menu. The desktop app can look quite complicated and intimidating for beginners, and it contains a ton of information. If you want to spend some time digging through all the features, uh, you can look through the options menu to look at the uh, call and put options for the particular stock. You can look at the uh, news for the particular company, and you can look at posts that other people have posted about the company. But for our beginners, if you don't want to dig through all this, if you only just want to purchase or sell the stock, the uh, purchase button and the sell button are just at the uh, bottom right hand corner. So you can buy the stock and it goes to the similar menu as on the uh, mobile app. Now let's take a look at the fees for the platform. Currently, they have a special promotion on until the uh, 31st of January where you get a lifetime zero commission for trading US stocks. If you also sign up using uh, my link below, you also get some free credits when you make your first deposit uh, just to help you get started. Normally, the fees for trading US shares are charged at a per share basis with a minimum amount. Now, before the current pr promotion, this was charged at $0.1 per share with a minimum uh, two US dollars uh, minimum charge per trade. And this is subject to change, so I will include the latest fee in the description below. So trading in different exchanges charges different fees. Uh, with the Australian exchange, charging a fee of 0.11% uh, of the value uh, that you are trading in, with a minimum first purchase size of 500 US dollars worth of shares. Now, Tiger brokers do not currently charge an exchange fee when you carry out currency conversions. Now, they do have an exchange spread of up to 0.5%, which actually makes them very competitive when compared to all the other brokers. They also do not have inactive fees or monthly fees, so there's no reason why you uh, wouldn't sign up during this promotion period, since if nothing else, you would still secure the uh, zero commission for trading US shares if you sign up uh, during this promotion period. Now let's talk about a real important subject, which is the security of the broker. So security is obviously a very big thing. You absolutely do not want to lose your hard-earned cash. As one of the newer brokers available to the market, it is natural to ask whether or not Tiger Broker is safe. Now Tiger Broker is actually a publicly listed company on the New York Exchange under the ticker uh, TIGR, under the name Up Fintech Holdings. So they are subjected to US financial regulations. They are also licensed to the uh, Financial Service Provider Register, uh, regulated by New Zealand's Financial Markets Authority. Uh, this means that all Tiger Broker clients with New Zealand registered accounts are protected by New Zealand's regulatory framework. They are also regulated uh, by monetary authorities in the US, Singapore and Australia. So Tiger Broker operates as a custodian, which means that the client's investment is held by an authorized uh, third party. The client's US stocks are actually held by interactive brokers, which is one of the largest international brokers in the world. They're also backed by the Xiaomi Group, which is one of the biggest cell phone makers in the world with more than 20 billion US dollars in terms of assets. Now, by operating as a custodian, Tiger Brokers are able to lower their fees similar to how uh, Sharesies, uh, which is also operating as a custodian, is able to lower their fees. Their sign-up process is fairly straightforward, but it is a little bit more complicated than other investment platforms uh, in New Zealand, such as Sharesies or InvestNow. Now, you do need uh, photos of your ID and bank statement uh, to send in for them. When you first sign up, you can use my promo code Hank Hustle, which is H-E-N-K-H-U-S-T-L-E, or in uppercase to receive some free credits. After entering your residency details and your tax code, you need to select the account type, which is Tiger Prime, and then enter your first name and last name, residential address. And then they will ask whether you want to apply for a margin account and your trading experience. Now for beginners, it is not really recommended to trade with margin or uh, options. And then they will ask you to upload a copy of your ID and uh, your online signature. After you have set that all up and your account has been authenticated, uh, you can log into your account and go to the deposit section. And here you can deposit with New Zealand dollars. 
Here it will show you all the information that you need in order to deposit through your internet banking. Once you have made the uh, deposit, you need to send a notice to Tiger Broker for them to check that your deposit has been received. Now this is probably not as intuitive as other uh, brokers, but overall the process itself, it's not uh, too complicated. After you have deposited money into your account, you can go to the trade page in your app and go to currency exchange. Here you can select the uh, type of exchange that you want to do. So you can exchange from New Zealand dollars into US dollars. And you can enter the amount that you want to exchange. And then it will uh, give you an estimate of the amount of uh, US dollars that you would get. So finally, let's have a look at the uh, pros and cons of the Tiger Broker. So starting from the pros, you have access to uh, different exchanges in five different countries, uh, which gives you a huge selection of uh, different companies that you can invest in. They have both a uh, mobile and desktop app. Uh, the mobile app is very intuitive and while the desktop app is a lot more complicated, but uh, it provides you with tons of information, including uh, news and also different analysis. They have a very competitive fee structures for trading on their different exchanges, especially with their current uh, zero commission US stocks uh, promotion. Now in terms of cons, uh, first off, they do not offer fractional shares, which means that you need to purchase shares, uh, you need to purchase whole shares, uh, which may be a problem if you are trying to buy a share that is worth a lot in one go. And while you are using the app itself, you might see a lot of Chinese characters pop up here and there. So there's still a bit of refining of the mobile app and desktop app in process. So there's a bit of a translation error going on. And the third con that I can find is you need to inform them of uh, your fund transfer. Uh, so when you have made a deposit, it doesn't just go in automatically. You need to uh, actually manually inform that you have made the deposit. But overall, the system itself isn't too complicated. Uh, so the question now is who is Tiger Brokers for? So Tiger Brokers is for people that would like to uh, be able to invest in uh, many different countries and they would like to do a little bit more research uh, using either their mobile or desktop app. Currently with their zero commission trading on US stocks, it is definitely worth to give them a go. Now, if you uh, end up liking the uh, platform, you can definitely keep on using it, but there's definitely no harm in uh, trying the uh, platform out uh, while they have this special promotion going on. And that's gonna be it for this uh, review of Tiger Brokers. Uh, if you need some more information on how the app works, I could uh, look into making more videos on how the app uh, or both the mobile and desktop app actually function and how to get the most out of it. But that is going to be it for now and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.